this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your hydraulic valve. First, we want to navigate to our tractor main menu, then to our hydraulic valves. And right here is where we can set our flow rates for our valves in either the plus or the minus position. We can set timers for the valves for how long they should operate. We can prioritize the valves. We can set how the flow rate comes on when we first actuate that valve, whether it be a slow ramp up or a hard ramp. And we can also assign the hydraulic valves to certain switches inside the cab. So let's say that we wanted to adjust our yellow valve. Right now you'll notice that this particular valve has 26.5 as a value in this box. That is the actual flow rate of the valve. Currently this terminal is set to English US, so this is gallons per minute. If we changed our terminal to English GB, it will change that to liters per minute. I'll show you how that works. Navigating to here, to that one, we'll change it to English GB. Now we'll go back to our hydraulic valves. Now you notice a different value. It's not 26.5, it's 100. So now that is 100 liters per minute. If we wanted to adjust that, we would highlight the one that we want to adjust. We use the scroll wheel on the side of the terminal to adjust that value. If we wanted to adjust the negative position, we navigate to that box. We can adjust it accordingly. Now if we wanted that valve to run for a certain amount of time, we would go into the timer, we scroll it to whatever time that we want. If we would like that valve to operate under continuous flow, we go all the way to the maximum, and we get this sideways eight, which means infinity. That means that that hydraulic valve will run continuously. Now to enable that feature, we have to go over here to the right hand side and we have to turn on this clock. Without that clock turned on, that hydraulic valve will not run on a timer or continuously. It will only operate as long as you're moving the, that particular switch in that position. So in order for our timer to be active, we have to have it turned on. You know that that particular valve has a timer turned on because you can see it populate in the black box beside the valve. If I cycle that clock on and off, you'll see that it changes on and off in the black. Here we can prioritize that valve, this third icon down, if we enable that one, we have this prio that shows up in the black box, so we know that particular valve is prioritized. That means that that valve will, will be sent the flow rates that we've told it to be sent, no matter what. That valve will get that oil flow first. This fourth icon down, that is at what uh, aggressiveness the hydraulic valve turns on. Right now it's set to the left hand side of that switch which slowly ramps the oil flow on. If we switch it over to the right hand side, that bangs on the full flow instantly. So if you have a hydraulic motor or something that's maybe a little bit sensitive to corrupt hydraulic flow, we want to have that one switched over here to the left side. If we wanted to adjust our front valves, if the tractor is so equipped, we go down here to the second button from the bottom, we go ahead and click on that one with the image of the tractor, front of the tractor and the valves. Now here are our hydraulic valves on the front. Same rules apply. We'll go ahead and we can adjust our flow rates for each of those valves. We can adjust our timers. We can set the timers on or off. We can prioritize them, etc. Now I'll show you how to adjust your hydraulic valve position in the tractor on whatever switch that you'd like it to be on. So we'll navigate back to the rear valves. We'll go ahead down here and we'll, we'll pick on the picture of the joystick and the valves. So right here we can assign a hydraulic valve color to any of the switches in the tractor. If you like the linear switches down on the bottom of the armrest, instead of, say, the crossgate lever, which the blue and yellow valves are on the crossgate lever, we have the ability to change that. So let's say down here, this, this bottom left one is not assigned to any valve because this tractor doesn't have that option. But we could use that particular switch if we wanted to. So we'll go ahead and highlight that box, we'll click on it. Now here we can pick any color of valve that the tractor is equipped with or our front or rear three-point hitch. We'll go ahead and set that to the yellow valve. 
in this example. So now when I operate that linear switch number two, my yellow valve operates. You can see that happening in the top left corner. I mean, if for some crazy reason you wanted to set this entire, every single switch in this tractor to the yellow valve, you can do that. Don't know why you would, but you could. Now because you have the ability to customize what switch does what, sometimes it can be confusing because you might not remember what switch on the tractor actually controls which color of valve. But now if you look over at the image in the top left, you'll notice that all of the switches in this particular tractor have changed to the yellow valve. So that's your indication of what switch does what after you've customized it. So now if we adjust this one here to the blue valve, you'll notice now in the upper left on the joystick top left which is normally the green valve is now the blue valve. Now let's say you didn't like this you wanted to put it back to the Fent factory settings. Over here on the right hand side this upper right icon with the wrench we'll go ahead and press on that and it puts it back to how the tractor is equipped from the factory. It adds in the proper colors to the proper switches as the tractor is equipped. This button underneath this one here what it'll do is it'll switch the crossgate lever and the joystick switches back and forth. So if I click on this button, you'll notice that the green and red valves will move down to the crossgate lever, which currently holds the blue and yellow valves, and vice versa. And again, the icons in the upper left corner of the screen indicate that that change has been made. I'll click it again and I'll change it back to normal settings. The tractor also has buttons on the back fender where we can actuate a specific hydraulic valve while we're standing out at the back fender of the tractor. Down here at the very bottom of the screen we have this external uh, button here with the hand in the back side of the tractor. If we go ahead and open that menu up, again we have the ability to select any one of these particular valves to be actuated by those particular buttons. That's quite helpful, for example, if the tractor has a hydraulic jack on it and you wanted to lift the jack up just a little bit as you back up to the up, back up to the implement to drop the hitch pin in it. Maybe that particular circuit is our red circuit. We'll go ahead and hit the check mark. Now, if we go ahead and push the external buttons on the back side of the tractor, our red valve will actuate and you know that that is set because again, in the black box up here beside the red valve, it says EXT inside that black box. Also on the top left side of the screen in our information page, the red valve also shows EXT, which indicates you that that valve is set to operate on those external switches.